Hey everybody, this is Terry with CU Bands of Fans and I am in Villa Grove tonight. I'm sorry, stepping on feet of the band Spectrum. That's this band right here. Um, they have released a CD recently and they're doing very well with it. So we wanted to interview them and chat with them very casually. Um, talk about their band, talk about their music, talk about the CD release. Ladies and gentlemen, Spectrum. When did you guys develop yes. Spectrum? Where'd that come from? Um, I can't remember that far back. Um, we used to have an annual jam out at the house, and uh, Tom came out, finally got him to come out one year, and we had a good time, and started doing coffee and chatting about music and um, original stuff, and we decided we'd try to get something rolling, and God, I think that was what, 2000? 10, 10 years ago? 10 years ago, something like that. But it wasn't called Spectrum, was right. it, at that time? Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't anything actually. We were just kind of jamming, writing stuff, and oh, you didn't have a name no. back then. No, no, it was like yeah, it's time to get together and do it again. Yeah. It's been six months. Yeah, so that's kind of been loosely, I guess, loosely coming together over the years, and we've had a couple different drummers, a couple different bass players, and um, this is pretty much the core. Tom and Mary and I, and then Mark and Dave on loan from Super Bad, so. Awesome. So, so yeah. cover bands, and you guys do covers. Am I right? Um, no, can. we can. Well, we do. Cap capable, yes. We do some, <laughs> yes. I mean, but not to the extent that we're. We really wanted to develop enough cover stuff to, to go out and gig, you know, uh, in bars and things like that. Because, I mean, we've done that. Well. I it's mean, fun, but it's more stimulating and fun for us to do the originals because we are creating it. Yeah. We're not just mimicking somebody else's. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah, we were always, I mean, all of us, whenever uh, a, a bigger band would come to town that wasn't doing covers, you know, we'd always be there watching them back in the old Panama Red days. And uh, Have you titled this CD? Nick of Time. Nick of Time. Nick of Time. Name oh. it after? No. no. Okay, it's why just, did you name it? it? Well, I mean, you know. Because <laughs> one of these days we're all going to be dead. Well, we said we wanted to get this done. And we wanted to get it done before we died. Yeah. That's pretty much it in a nutshell right there. <laughs> and what was our original choice was going to be? Uh, so better, so better, better late than never. Better late than never. And yeah. I told him, I said, well, better late than never kind of has a negative connotation. I said, how about Nick of Time? It's just like. That works. We did it right. We, we, should make it time. That's we could have done we're almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really fantastic. It's yeah. just like everybody's getting older, everybody's busy, everybody has different things going on with them. Um, and you never know. Like, What's your plan? Right. Hopefully uh, we can get the... Are you going to do another one? Yeah. Oh, we're we already have, we we already have music for the next work. album. I've got a couple songs already started. Yep. I love that. He's so got much. a few still in the can that we that we haven't recorded on this one, and then there's a couple new ones. We're, and we're writing. I think a lot of the new ones will be written as a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. It's it's such a great experience. I mean, even if you just bring in like, a, okay, well, I got this part, and then somebody can add this and that. It's it's going to be probably more of a challenge, but I think it'll be a lot more fun too for everybody to to just open up and, and write the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I love, I love that fun. you're doing this. So you're just going to keep keep doing this. Keep getting, mm -hmm. you know, getting yeah. together when you can and yeah. Yeah. recording. How many songs on the next one? Probably 11 or 12 for another, you know, I think we've got seven in the works, something like Six that. Six or seven together. already yeah. Yeah, going. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know how they go yet, but we got them going. Well, he, he lives so far away. So no. we kind of get together oh, and try to get stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's my yeah, it's my yeah. fault. It's try to get fault. stuff put together, and then you know, Dave is such a quick study anyway. I mean, we can give him a CD or something a week before or whatever, and he can come up and say, "Okay, well, this is what I thought." Well, yeah, we just got to get it. Just we've got the songs going, you know. Now we just got to get them, uh, you know, finished up. Meanwhile, where can people get this CD right here? Um, they can contact us on Facebook at Spectrum slash band. They can contact CU Bands and Fans. And um, if any of you know us personally, we always have a stash, so we'd be glad to sell them. Yeah, so a uh, question for you is this. So, They're also on sale at the grocery store. Yeah, store. Yeah. Here in town? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, the grocery store will probably closed by the time I leave here. 
Not Otherwise, oh, well, pop in we've there got and check it out. Extras if you yeah, need got extras. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You guys have given me one, yeah. and I've got it in my car, and I love it, and I especially love that slow ballady magic in a song. So what is that again? Magic in a song. Love yeah. that. Yeah. I played that one over and over and over again. I, I just, it's just beautiful. Uh, all of it is. All of it is fantastic. But that particular, you know, every song or something resonates with someone in a different way. And that, that one just did with me. So, yeah. mm -hmm. but I just want to stop in the grocery store and just see it in there. Yeah. And it's right near the cash. Get a picture of the it. The register, and, like, yeah. right near it. Yeah. So you guys are on Facebook. It's a little bit. Um, are you on Instagram? Um, working on Instagram, working on a uh, website. I'm really computer challenged. <laughs> so we're, you know, we're working on things. It takes a while. Yeah. Well, so. I think CU Bands fans can plan on helping you along with that. Awesome. Doing as much as we can for you uh, to get launched and up out there. And also, can you, can you download this at all? Um, that's another thing. I... <laughs> That was recorded in 24-bit, and it has to be 16-bit to be on Spotify and, and all the other digital downloads. So, uh, Rick Which to me, graciously re remixed the thing into 16-bit, so it's just a matter of getting it downloaded to TuneCore. Okay, and then when you do that, you're going to charge something, right? Uh, I think it's like, whatever, 99 cents a song or something, whatever, on Spotify yeah. or whatever. Which is a deal, and... Yeah. I, so, I don't know, we, we have recently been talking on our page about CDs, you know, and, and for just purchasing CDs or uploading and downloading them, iTunes, Spotify, and that kind of thing. And really, my, my feeling on this is I would so much rather pay cash for a CD or buy the CD from the artist, um, have a hands-on, you know, you, it's like... I'm a photographer, everybody, you all know that. So it's the same way with a digital image versus a printed image. I love a printed image. There's, you can't beat that. And kind of it's the same way with these CDs, not to mention the artist gets the money. And that's the thing. It's their music. It's their work. Uh, I, I would highly encourage people to buy a CD and, instead of download. But if you know if that's the only way you can do it, then go ahead by all means. But you know, Dan, donate a little more than ninety nine cents uh, while you're there. You know I think what I mean? A lot of that's coming back around. Um, you know, guys are going to vinyl. You know, doing records again uh, for the people who really enjoy the quality of, of the recording. That's because the music <clears throat> industry is pushing yeah. everything to yeah. to cloud storage so that right. they they can charge you for it a thousand. Right. Time, you know. But I think a lot yeah. of this ridiculous. The people that really enjoy music are, are coming back around to buying the actual CD or the album right. and having that. And I think a lot of people do realize that it's not cheap, you know, and that, you know, they it's do not. try to help the yeah. people out, you know. And it's 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 an ongoing battle in the music industry that, you know, <laughs> you know, how do you get the money to the people that actually deserve it? You know? Deserve it, exactly. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, we're working on, on our page all the time, every day, to to just try to make people aware of that kind of thing. And um, so it was an er interesting subject. I learned quite a bit, uh, but strongly encourage, buy the CD. Yes, buy the a CD. CD release party too. Come yeah, on. that's what, yeah, when are you doing that? I haven't got anything in the works yet. Uh, still trying to find a venue. Um, <clears throat> possibly Tuscola if we can. I don't know, we may even do it here up in the summertime or something. Just have a street party or something, who knows. Yeah, lo locally in your own yeah. neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take this moment to thank you for having an organization like you do? Yeah. Because yeah. that's probably yeah. the only thing that benefits musicians that exist around here. You know? Well, we try. I mean, we, we believe in it. We love it. Uh, we love exactly. what we do. We love photography, obviously, and then we just kind of mix photography and music because we are so passionate about music but more than that we're more compassionate about local music mm -hmm. and well, local musicians and yeah. the yeah. talent yeah. is oh phenomenal <clears throat> but i think it would be cool if you guys did something um here in your own community so which brings me to community support how supportive has your community been for you the ones that have come out and listened to us really yeah. do love the music we've had a lot of compliments a lot of people uh, on Facebook that have bought the CD or have heard us play really like the music and so we're hoping that they spread the word as well as you know say hey 
buy the CD kind of thing. Because it's it, we're not making money off of this, and we're hoping if we can make enough money what? for Kevin to. <laughs> <laughs> you already got your share. Yeah. You, got, you got your seventy. To cover yeah. the cost of recording that. Gas you know, money is that it? <laughs> Yeah, recording costs. It does. <laughs> and we're hoping maybe during the summer months, um, we're thinking about doing like when Spectrum could play with super bad at certain venues, like be an opening act and play for an hour or something, just to get us more exposure. Uh, it's not all about the money, but to get us some more exposure and get out there in front of different audiences. We're we're trying to maybe come up with something like that in the mix. Because like, seriously. Like, Get this CD and um, reach out to us, see you bands and fans, if you can't find these guys on Facebook, which I'll share the post with them. But um, they do have a Facebook. They do respond to their Facebook yes. messages and that kind of thing. So go and hit them with a like and a follow and buy their CD and let's keep, continue to support local music as well as original music in Champaign-Urbana. You guys got anything else you want to close up with? Just... Like Tom said, thank you so yep. much for doing what you do. For all appreciate your time and coming. your effort you and your support. We yeah. really yeah. appreciate that. You're welcome. You are most welcome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> Prematurely great. Music is keeping you young. <laughs> all right.